<sighs> What's up y'all, Chester Ted here once again, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new game called Zombies in the City Survivor. From now on, after saying that once, I will refer it to Zick Survivor. <laughs> anyway, um, this game is a lot like uh, Cube Zombie Survival, Last Day on Earth, and Last Day on Earth Survival. It's uh, very similar in terms of gameplay. I've played a, a, enough of it to know that at least, but I still don't really know what's going on, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be that cop. Standard mode. For new players, more focused on questline. Survival mode. More focused on survival aspect of the game. You start with experience boost to unlock all basic recipes. But incoming damage is doubled. Creative mode. Mode with unlimited resources for building. This must have been translated from another language of some sort. I don't know what, but it had to have been because standard mode should be above the description for standard mode and you know vice versa with survival and creative anyway i'm gonna go standard zombies have vision angle so you can sneak behind them oh that's good to know um yeah there's another zombies in city game and i haven't played it but it's like island survival or something and, and i don't know much about that one but this one i've played an okay amount of to where like the gameplay and stuff isn't like shocking to me anymore but get a bat there's a dead cop talk to him or you dead cop you don't talk to him you take his stuff which is if you read this i am probably not survived i am probably yeah definitely translated they are somehow sneak they are somehow sneak on board i'm gonna try to isolate them in front in the front part of the plane but looks like we are done pilots are not answering calls Probably they are got there. All right. Pull the direction. Pull in the direction you want to attack. Okay. Let it get completely full, and it blinks and stops getting bigger, and then bam. And I think you can just tap. Yeah, you can just tap the right side of the screen, and he attacks faster, but not as strong. And you can charge up your attack while you're moving, so that's pretty cool. Into that. that. Um, yeah, that's basically the uh, gameplay tutorial right there, pretty much. I mean, after that, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Crafting and gathering and all that stuff, but... Um, obviously I'm going to show you anyway. But for those of you that think Last Day on Earth and or Cube Survival Last Day on Earth are dead, quote unquote, this game is similar but different because it has like a story mode. Now you can buy pets in the store. Oh, that's fantastic. Yay. I so want to spend real money on this. <laughs> no, but seriously though, um, I don't know. If this becomes like a series or something like that, I might try to like maybe buy a Okay, well there's the uh, first chest, and there's a hand that pops up that's bi blinking up and down, and there's a chest symbol on the right side. Both of those you could press to open the chest and search it. You know what I mean? Like, here, I'll use the left, or the thing on the right this time instead of the fist. Same thing. Another one here. I think there's some more up here. Yeah, okay, there's two med packs, and I think this guy's hurt, and he wants a med pack right away or something. Yeah, anyone help? Who's there? What happened? Are you okay? You're speaking with the body and the blood. Move away. I am a scientist, and I need emergency help. Cough up blood. Cough with blood. There should be a med pack somewhere around. Hurry, please. I'll search for it. Already found it. Did you find the med pack? Yes. Here it is. You feel better? Level up. Awesome. <laughs> Talk to him again. Now he wants you to build him a campfire, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. No, nope, I did not. I was just passing through. Well, you know, I'm getting cold. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'll try. Now, 
out of the things I searched, I got two different axes. There's an axe and then a pickaxe. The axe is for harvesting wood, the pickaxe is for harvesting stone, and, you know... See, I'm pretty sure at harvesting trees, it doesn't matter if you hold the button down or not, because regardless, it hits the tree just as fast. Or, I mean, it takes two hits for the tree, so watch. Yeah. Regardless, it takes two hits to knock down a tree, so charging your attack to take down a tree is just pointless. Now, taking down zombies by charging your attack, that's different. Ah, oh, I was trying to attack that thing. <laughs> oh, well. Pick this up. Pick that up. Yeah, you get experience for just picking stuff up, too. Like grass and harvesting grass and getting this carrot and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, he wanted me to buy him, or to buy him, to uh, get him a campfire, right? Yeah. Oops, wrong one. Over there, go to build. And actually place the campfire right there. All. Now I've got a campfire. And I'm level four. I like it. Talk to him again. Hmm, the scientist turns to you. I remember you said something about a group of scientists. We're going to find them. Scientists are now in the bunker, and I cannot help you get there, but there are coordinates. But here are coordinates. Tell them where I am. And yeah, here is my revolver. You will need it more than I. Thanks, good luck. So now I got a revolver. Go ahead and put that on my belt, along with this one med pack. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Crap. <laughs> oh well, that sucks. Hopefully I'll be able to make a bandage or something like that here soon. Where's the learn thing? There we go. Learn bandage. Um, see, the wooden sword looks like it should be worth more damage than the bat. Just because of what it takes to build it. You know what I mean? Six wood, a stone, a rope. This just takes ten wood. So it's like, I don't know. But, I went ahead and buy that. Candle hat, cloth. Oops. A candle hat, literally? What? What is the candle? Is that where you put over a campfire to cook? No, I can't be. Learn the torch. Okay. Well, since I messed up my health and ate that, or used that, which I shouldn't have yet, that sucks. But I'm betting I'll get some more here soon. But anyway, it said the, uh, Bunker is marked on the map thanks to... Oh, wow, it's actually pretty close. Usually it's like way over here or way up here or something, but it's actually really close this time, so... I actually try to make it there. I don't think I've ever actually gotten to the bunker playing this game. Like, on purpose, I, like, left it alone and tested out other things, you know. So, yeah, this is it for sure. That's pretty cool. Okay, nothing from there. Hello stranger, you are one we were looking for. Hello, can I enter? Wait, do I want to actually enter? I'm going to look around first, see what I can gather. See, that other game had an auto-gather feature, which is pretty cool. You know, and this obviously doesn't, or at least not that I know of. So, that's like, eh, but oh well, you know. Oh, now it's getting dark. I bet I should enter. Yep, nice. Ivan, this guard looks very suspicious. Hello, who are you? Do you have any missions for me? Could we trade? Any recipes for sale? Let's see, could we trade? Picklock for 10 zombie meat? Mm, no thanks. I want. Only trusted people could enter here. Could enter the labs. Hello, who are you? I have no time for you. Well, fuck you then.
Close, you were the one we were looking for. You hear a noisy sound from speaker. Hello, me? <laughs> Wait, who are you people? Let's go, hello, me? At this moment, we experienced a lack of raw data for our research. Could you bring us five parts of zombie meat? Okay. Oh, cool, that's my new, uh, new mission. Now I have a reason to go kill some zombies, that's pretty cool. I was gonna say, I've never actually gotten to this bunker and done anything with it. Wait, is it still night? Yeah, it's still night. Let's wait until daytime, then go out there. See, I'm pretty sure that light that just came up means it's daylight out. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now I gotta find some zombies and kill them. Where you at, zombos? Ooh, there's some berries. Those are good to, those are good to collect for um, food and thirst. Or for hunger and thirst. Berries are pretty good. Just like the other game. <laughs> Literally. More berries, more berries, more berries. As many of them as I can. There's literally no reason not to. Until, of course, your inventory gets full. <laughs> Actually, surprised I haven't seen a single zombie yet. That's weird. Usually, I've killed at least one or two by now. Yeah, this game doesn't have them showing up on the radar either, so that's pretty cool. Which I guess that's not really a radar, it's just a clock, but still. That's something that uh, Deserted could use. is like a clock to tell you when it's about to get dark. And you could even put it in that little uh, thing on the top left where it says your character name. It's like the little pie chart of stats, you know what I mean? You could put it in that little circle where it says your name. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, there's a zombie. Zombie meat, thank you. I'm guessing there's another one around here. Ooh. There's a little plane. Oh, I can't go there? Oh, okay, I was going to say, I hope I can go there and get all this stuff in the plane crash. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, what's that? Alright, a carrot, two cloth, and a fish. I'll take it. It's got to be something else, though, in this entire plane wreck. Another lockpick, two more cloths, okay. Thought I saw a zombie over here a second ago, didn't I? Yep. That's what you do, you hit him once with one big one to stun him, then you just tap it a couple times and it kills him real quick. So that's pretty cool. That's actually something about this game that the other game doesn't have, is the fact that you can attack faster or slower or stronger or weaker, depending on how you play. Can I get five yet? Yeah, I do, nice. Ooh, there's some more loot. More cloth, I'll take it. Another carrot, another fish, whatever. Wow, four bottles of water. I like it. Locked, of course. Oh, here's the pick, lock pick system. Move the lock pick right or left. It's basically like um, Oblivion from the Bethesda. If you ever played that game in the Elder Scrolls series, its lock pick system is almost identical to this. What is that? Mushroom soup. Nice. I think I got. Yeah, I got that case already. Anyway, um, yeah, I got the cases I need. There's another lockbox. 
I wish I knew how to do the uh, lock and unlock of these things because it's extra tough. Rotten food. Not sure if I should. <laughs> Not sure if I should eat that. Let's go to the map and see how close I am to this. Wait. Oh my god, I went that far away from the bunker in that little bit of time? Holy crap. Nah, I see that coming. Can I get that one yet? Nope. Let's race back to the bunker and call this an episode, I think. It's about to get dark anyway. Which reminds me. I should build... I should craft... a torch. Now I got light around me at all times. Yeah, that light bulb's still there. I think it's just because I got light around me and that's it. Where am I in the map now here? Okay, I keep going straight. Gotta get there before any zombies get me. <laughs> but no, this this game's actually pretty cool. I might I might continue playing this instead of the other one just because of the storyline and how it has, you know, something to do. Other one meaning Cube Survival and not Deserted. Obviously I'm going to keep playing Deserted too. And for anybody that doesn't know what Deserted is, you should check out my channel and just type it in. I guarantee you'll find quite a few videos. <laughs> hey, there's a zombie. Time. Where is where is you, bunker? I gotta get into that bunker and heal myself quick before these dudes kill me. Alright. Now oops. Go in here, craft one. Well, only one, I guess. Might as well use it. Alright. Go to this dude and complete this quest, see what it gives me. Hogan, remind me who you are right here. Here's the zombie meat. Okay, thanks, Darvin. You did it. My guy's name's Darvin, apparently. You did this trivial task, and now we do return here. Hey, but what about some reward? Reward? Is it not enough? Do Okay, here's your reward. Ooh, nice. A full health. I like it. Anyway, um, I think I might go ahead and end this video here. For um, If you like the video, give it a like. Um, next video will probably just start right here. But if you liked the episode, give it a like. Leave your comments down below. Uh, tell me which game you'd rather like between, or rather watch between this and Cube Survival. Um, and anyway, uh, stay tuned for more. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out.